So that me the one. Right. Is that good? Okay. So the top one, each picture is taken from a different project by Mickey Lee. Top left is called the skateboard project. Skateboard. And she's the girl in the front with the skateboard. Okay, so when you see her in the skateboard project, you think, oh, you know, cool, she was a skateboarder, that's, that's awesome. Second one on top right is called the Yuppie Project, the Yuppie, the professional uh, um, rich person. And she's the one in the background bending down and passing very much as a Yuppie. And now we have a problem because we really believed she was a skateboarder, but now we really believe she's a Yuppie. Okay, this one is called the Senior Project, and she's this woman on the right, and she's completely unrecognizable from the skateboarder, now she's an old lady. And this one is the Hip Hop Project. So we're like, okay, well, so maybe you could move between class status, or age status, or subcultural status. Now she's moving within racial status and now she's performing as a sort of black uh, hip-hop artist okay so here's the last one the lesbian project the lesbian project and there are a couple of images in this series of her often in a lesbian bar with this same blonde woman now when she showed these she showed them at different times and when she showed these projects people found them very interesting when she showed this one, people found it very offensive. And not only heterosexual people, but also lesbians. And some lesbians were like, well, this is just really wrong. Uh, is she really a lesbian? Why is she with this woman if she's not really a lesbian? Did the other woman know she was not really a lesbian? And so there were many, many questions about, is she really? The whole project is about not really being anything, okay, or about Identity always being assumed and performed, and the porousness of flexibility of certain kinds of identities. Okay, so that's just to sort of pose this question of what happens to the real in photography? Because we think that photography is about giving us hard evidence, but actually photography is the most deceptive of the visual arts. Um, we, we think that if we have a photograph, we have in our hands the truth. And Nikki Lee's project is to remind us that photography is also a lie. Okay? And I offer that up as a caution as we now begin to look at these images from the past of uh, lesbians from different eras. Okay? And here's a great quote from Susan Sontag saying very much the same thing. She says, Photographs furnish evidence. Something we hear about but doubt seems proven when we're shown a photograph of it. And if you think about that with the Nikki Lee project, you see that, that photographs have an evidentiary status, but they also <coughs> undermine the very idea of truth in the first place. Okay, so now we're going to look at photographs by an artist called Brassai. Uh, Brassai was a Hungarian painter who moved to Paris in the 1920s, uh, as did many young artists at that time. And he decided he wanted to be a painter, but he quickly began um, going out at night in Paris, and he found all of these worlds that he called secret worlds, subcultural worlds, some of which were populated by thieves, some by pimps and prostitutes, some by gay men, some by transvestites, and one place that he went to often was called the Monocle, and it was a lesbian club. And this is one of the images from it. And these photographs are very, very beautiful, um, but they're also very posed. So um, he suggests in his writings that he would slip into the clubs where he, and go where he was not supposed to go, and that the worlds that he encountered were so strange to him and so freakish that he had to take pictures in order to prove to other people that they existed. Okay? But, remember the problem of the lying here? If you look at the photograph, this is not a photograph that has been taken secretly. The couple seem quite aware of the camera, maybe even posing 
for the camera, there's obviously a lot of exposure. There must have been a flash used. Um, and so we have to presume, therefore, that he went into the club, maybe was even invited into the club, moved around the club easily, and that people offered themselves up for photographs. So this one is called Female Couple. The captions tell yet another story because the captions are a little anxious. Uh, why didn't he just call it couple? Why is it called female couple, right? So he has to tell the viewer that you may not know, but you're looking at a female couple here. So the, the captions are very pedagogical. Um, this is a, a beautifully composed shot. Again, cannot possibly be a snapshot because it's so, so beautifully framed that you have these three, uh, this arrangement of four people, three people in front of the bar, one person behind. And it gives a real sense of the elegance of the club um, and uh, the beauty of it, I think. 